it was announced that Jalen Hurts will in fact be the starter against the Saints here in the next game. We're, so we're going to go through the tape here in Jalen Hurts. We're not going to talk Carson Wentz, just strictly Jalen Hurts and his play right here. So the first play I want to show, Packers coming out and running a man coverage scheme. Eagles are running uh, the levels concept with crossers. So they got Dallas Goddard as the underneath uh, receiver right here. You got the intermediate route coming in the crosser here. And then Jalen Rager doing the corner and a post on the backside. Now, Jalen, as he's running out here, he's going to scan the field. See, he's got no options right here. So uh, decide not to throw it. Try to get some, some yards and live for the next play. So it's third down and four. And this time, Packers coming out running a cover one man. So man again this time. But they're going to be sending the blitz here from 24. So Miles Sanders is going to fail to pick up the splits coming in right here in the B gap. And that leaves free rusher in Jalen Hurts' face. The safety who's going to be dropping deep, or the deep coverage guy right here, is to the middle of the field relating to the seam coming up here. So it's one-on-one -on -one coverage at the bottom with Breger. Now Jalen Hurts sees the free rusher. He sees the matchup. And he throws an absolute diamond there for Rager. And as we're seeing it here from the box, you're going to see the free rusher come right up here in the B gap. Hurts notices him, stands in the pocket, and delivers a dime um, off his back foot. Good good rep for him. So now we've got first and 10. Packers this time coming out running a zone coverage. This, they're running a cover three with the play action here as it's rolling out, which is biting up uh, the linebackers right here. Now you got uh, Rager once again going on the corner route. Once again, it's the same levers concept we saw in the first clip. You got the underneath, you got the intermediate, and you got the deep guy right here. Now 20 is going to relate a little bit to the intermediate route right here. Realize that he has the deep guy here, but he doesn't exactly. So this is actually an opportunity for Hurts. It's a terrible situation. It's a very hard throw when you got free rush in your face. And you're 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 running away uh, from your throwing arm. And so sees to get sees what he can get. So now Packers coming out. They want to send heat this time. They're sending six guys in the blitz and only got five guard guys in coverage. And as you have one receiver to the bottom of the field here, they're going to play man here. So they only have four uh, guys in the zones they want to relate to. So these guys play deep and these guys are going to cover over the middle. Now, Jalen gets a, a really good pocket right here for a six-man pressure. Line holds up. That's pretty good. And you got um, you got Ward crossing the middle right here. See, Alshon's not really a good option. Hightower could be an option right here. Uh, but he's looking right over the middle. You got Ward right there. That's a good option. Uh, but decides to take off and not really gain too much on the play. Just we can see it here from the box. You got a very solid pocket right here to step up into. No reason to, to, to get panicky and get twitchy. You can just throw it right there to her, to Ward. First play of the next drive, the Packers coming out running a cover one man. Eagles have two uh, two deeper routes. You got one right here with Hightower going deep, and you got Rager right here. None of these guys really open. See, so uh, you got Hightower double covered, you got Rager tightly covered, and you got three underneath routes. None of them really sexy at this point right here. So good call by Hertz to scramble up the middle, leave the pocket, and get a first down. So the next play, another cover one situation here for the Packers. And Eagles running a, a vertical uh, concept right here. And so you got everybody stepping up here. Now, pocket is fine for Hertz. Uh, steps up into it as you got the edges sealed off. And as he's coming out here, these are not good options for him. So he decides to tuck it and once again get the first down with his legs. First down and 10 now. And all slants concept for the Eagles, pretty basic, pretty simple. You got cover one man, so press coverage across the board. And you could argue that maybe Travis Fulgham, who's the only guy who has an off man here. Of course, the Destroy Alexander, pretty good cornerback. But you could argue that he'll be a, a, a good matchup. Um, but I have to decide somebody to throw it here with the slants. And if we go here, now to me initially, this looked like eh. Maybe not the best pass, but if you look at it here from the box, that actually hits Goddard right in his hands uh, and drops it. Of course, it's a super tough pass and it's going way down, but it hit his hands. Um, so, I guess, good throw. Second down and 10. Packers are running, once again, cover one man, uh, press coverage across the board, except for the bottom. Same look as we just had before. The Eagles, once again, here running with the inwards breaking route from the bottom uh, three receivers, and you got Goddard at the top running an out route here. Uh, and, and initially you'd think that the inward breaking routes would be a better option, uh, against man coverage here. And you can also see like you have an option in high tower, you have an option in ward as they're coming up here, but the ball is thrown with, with good timing. It's uh, it's a precision pass. Uh, he leads Goddard to the outside, uh, and believes that he will get there before his man. And it's a good pass third down. And 
I think there might be some miscommunication here for the Packers. They're disguising the blitz right here. So you're going to send uh, the DB off the blitz. Linebacker will drop into a low hole coverage. Man on the top. Man in the slot right here. It looks like it's man in the bottom here uh, as well. Now, this guy will be dropping into a deep. And what I think is going to happen here is he believes this guy has man. But actually, he's going deep, and he believes that he'll be covering Ertz, man. So that is going to leave Ertz in the flat right here, or uh, an outbreaking route, wide open. Um, I believe it's off miscommunication, but Ertz finds him uh, immediately, and it's a good it's a good pass. So we got a new first down, extended the drive, and this play Eagles are going with a verticals concept, and the Packers run cover one man. So we're kind of finding a tendency right here. So. As we roll the play, you can see the tackles are driving the edge of the defensive ends to the edge. And I'd like to see Hurt step up into the pocket here. But I understand his decision to do this because there are nobody open at this point. And he's going to try to come out here and extend the play. Still nobody open. Tries to get what he can. So now we got second down and nine. And Eagles running two curls to the outsides and two in breaking routes from the slot here at the top. And the Packers are running a cover one man for everyone except for this guy who apparently is running zone coverage. Uh, that leaves Dallas got up wide open right here over the middle. Uh, Hertz is not focusing on him. And he throws this one to Travis Fulgham who's running a decent route. It's a decent route. But the timing needs to be there. He needs to get rid of this ball right now. This ball needs to be out of his hands to make this play. Uh, and that gives Jerry Alexander just enough time to recover on the route and uh, break up the pass. So third down and eight. Man coverage for the Packers once again. Cover one man. And Eagles here at the top with Greg Ward and with Jalen Rager running a pretty good concept right here. So Jalen is just going to go deep right here and take the outside cornerback who has man on Ward with him. And that leaves Ward wide open here on the outside. Um, Hurts relevantly steps off in the pocket. And rolls to the side, but the pass has got to be better than this. That's not that's a bad pass. So fourth down and eight. Uh, cover one man for the Packers once again. And you got Alshon Jeffrey at the top running um, a comeback route. Now the the uh, the the DB right here is gonna go under the late blitz. So this will be a six-man pressure. Eagles pick it up well, but this guy is a free rusher straight at Jalen. Now he has good time with, with Alshon here, and this offensive pass interference, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's called, but I don't know. Uh, but the timing of the throw is really good. He puts it right where it has to be on the sideline um, for uh, for Alshon to make that play. And I know I already put a video up about this, but can we just take a moment to appreciate Jordan Mailata on this play? So 4th and 18, and Packers are running a backed-off cover 3. Um, nobody down to the side in here. It's just going to come across the middle. And then you got Ward, who's going to cross deep right here this guy is not looking for work at all it was supposed to be down there hurt steps relevantly up in the pocket delivers a really really good pass right here um on the run long pass on the money and you see the step up here in the pocket as driscoll is driving his man downfield good footwork so next drive and i apologize on behalf of game pass who apparently cannot deliver the product that they want no more all 22 they cut it at that point so we'll have to go to the broadcast so let's see what we can get from this right here another cover one man for the packers and elton jeff from running a cutter out at the bottom now hers is getting a little bit of a stress right here from the defensive end nothing that excuse the inaccuracy of this throw which is off target um and Lacks the timing that you want uh, to ask Jeffrey. So the next play, I can't give you any explanation about the routes, the coverage, anything. And also, that doesn't matter. Let's just look at the line right here. This is a line that is getting dominated in the middle as Herbig is getting pushed back. So you do not want to step up into the pocket. You want to scramble outside. Either way here, you're mobile enough. We've seen that in the last few reps. So this is no reason to give the sack to the Packers. Thank God for this view, because here we can actually see Packers run cover one man. You can see Greg Ward right here from the slot running a beautiful out route. Uh, cutting inside before he's cutting out, even with the look right there even. Beautiful pocket right here for Hertz. And he delivers an on-target throw here. Uh, good anticipation and leading the receiver outside. Once again, cannot say anything about the coverage. Cannot say anything about the, the routes or anything. I can just say that here you have a good pocket 
everybody's doing what they have to him. Alada has this guy, Driscoll has this guy. You got double team right here. Samalo has this guy tied up. There's no reason to escape the pocket right here. Stay in there, survey the field, and find your guy. Do not take the sack. Like we've seen before, it's a zone coverage for the Packers, but as they only have one receiver to the top of the screen, he's going to play man. Now, it's a good route by Travis Fulgham right here, and even better... Um, uh, timing on this throw and leading receiver to the outside here, but it's just a flat out drop. So the last play right here, man coverage for the Packers once again. Greg Ward is going to go up and then out, and uh, unfortunately Driscoll gets absolutely smothered here by 91. So Mala got smothered by the guard, and the ball is tipped as he's uh, throwing it here. It's the right read. It was a good route by by Ward. We're going to see a little bit here. See there, you got 91 obliterating Driscoll. You got uh, you got number 97 from Somalo getting in there, uh, and the pass is tipped. And we can just see here, you got Greg Ward on the outside open there. Um, so the read is right. Uh, pressure got to him. The ball is uh, tipped in interception.